Hi guys, it's Kendra. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally doing a kitchen video a year later. Like it's taken me a year to do this video, guys. I don't know why. I think it always felt like daunting to have my kitchen super clean for you. I've already done the photos, so I will have a blog post with links to everything that I can link for you guys on my blog post. I'll put that down below in the description box, but this is the cleanest the kitchen will ever be. So it's like the perfect time to film this. Everybody is in their bedtime, in their beds for bedtime, for naps, and I have some coffee. So we renovated our kitchen last year and it was a long process. Um, when we moved in, I'll try to find some old photos that I can put those over so you can see what it looked like before. We moved in and it was very modern. It wasn't like bad, it just wasn't our style. And it's always hard when you are fixing stuff up in your home when it's not old, it's just not your style. But um, I just knew like the kitchen to me is the heart of the house and I wanted it to really represent us and fit our, our style and our vibe. So our goal for this kitchen was to make it really warm and earthy, a lot of like wooden elements, um, natural textures and finishes. I love like the Santa Barbara feel, Mediterranean, and I wanted to kind of bring that into this house through the kitchen and then kind of have it weave itself through the rest of the home. So um, a few things that I would recommend if you guys are kind of trying to figure out what style you want to pinpoint for your kitchen or any area of your home is to go on Pinterest and start searching for whatever room you're doing. So say it's kitchen, start pinning everything that appeals to you, whatever you like, pin it, and then go to your board and see what a common thread is there. And if you have all white cabinets, you're probably gonna wanna do all white cabinets for a kitchen. If you think you wanna do white cabinets, but then you're looking at your pins and all the kitchens have like a creamy color, which is very in right now and I love that too. Um, maybe you don't wanna go with your original idea of white. So look at what you are gravitating towards, find a common thread and go with that. And for me, we started with, I knew it like, figure out what you want to do for sure. So I knew I wanted white quartz counters because quartz is very durable when you have little kids you never know what's going to be on the countertops. We had marble countertops in our old bathroom and our old house. They were beautiful, but they would get water spots and it was just a lot to maintain for just a bathroom. So I knew I wanted quartz, so I'll show you the quartz. Um, I knew I wanted gold hardware, but we ended up doing chrome for the faucet and mix a little through our appliances, but I knew I wanted gold for the hardware um, we'll talk a bit about hardware and how I ordered a couple of different things to see what I like the most. I knew I wanted white cabinets and I knew the color I wanted was white dove just because I had seen it on a, somebody else's post and I really liked the color. So we did white dove for the countertop, or sorry, for the cabinets. And I'm trying to think of what the finish is now. I think it's a satin finish, but it honestly looks kind of eggshell applied. Like it doesn't look shiny or anything, but I wanted it to be able to wipe off stains and you know food splatters and all that and i also knew i wanted a wooden piece at the base of our range hood i love the look of that i think it just adds like a really nice earthy different element to your kitchen so that was like definitely a must and then once we had those kind of big ideas that we wanted we kind of built off of that same with our backsplash i originally had a different one in mind didn't realize it was marble. It was a marble pattern. And when I went to order it, uh, he gave me the bid and it was like thousands and thousands of dollars and that was not in our budget. So I had to kind of scramble and figure out a backsplash on the fly. That was the most stressful part of the whole kitchen because the backsplash is like the focal point of your kitchen and that just kind of threw me off. So I would recommend having like a couple options because you don't want that to happen to you or if something's out of stock, you never know. So we ended up finding this one and I love how it turned out. This cost under a thousand dollars for all of the material for the backsplash and then obviously labor. Another thing about labor and doing it yourself and all that, 
I know a lot of things in your kitchen you can do yourself if you are handy, if your husband's handy. Andrew and I have realized over the years we would rather hire somebody to do it and do it right than try to do it ourselves and not do as good of a job. And I'm not really a perfectionist when it comes to home stuff. Andrew is like, he wants the lines to be exactly right where I'm just like, I just want it done. So for everything in the kitchen, I'm trying to think, I think we hired out for everything in the kitchen. I'm pretty sure. Also one thing, like when you are renovating your kitchen, it is gonna be a, a hassle, it's a pain in the butt. Um, but don't think it's going to look exactly how you want it to look right off the bat because it's gonna be so fresh. Even now, I think that's why it took me so long to do this video is because I just think with any space in your home, it takes time. It takes years of being in this space to see, ooh, this would look really cool here or visiting antique shops and finding, collecting different things that would look good in different areas. So for me, I always want a space to feel lived in and it's hard to just make it feel lived in right off the bat. And when you're on a budget and you don't, you don't have the option to just buy everything right away, you know, we do things step by step. So I know that with every space in our home, it's a process and um, it can be hard for, me because, hard for me because I'm not very patient and I want things done pretty quick. So I have to just realize that to trust the process and know that eventually, you know, it's more about the process than the end result, right? So, okay, I'm gonna take you kind of piece by piece and show you different things and the thought process behind it. The oven we went with is by Thor. We had a hard time finding one that was not crazy expensive. We wanted a really large range for this space. The one before was much smaller and it had like spacer things in the gaps. So we knew we wanted a long oven here or a wide oven here. I love this oven so much guys. There's really, it's super simple. Like there's not much to it. Um, there's no buttons, no, no clock, no nothing. It's just very minimalist. And I love the way it looks. It just feels very like heavy and industrial. So for our range hood, we ordered the piece underneath from Amazon. And then we have a, a wood guy, our carpenter, and he does pretty much all the woodwork in our house for us. He's amazing. And that is who we use to contract out for other things. So like he always has a friend or knows somebody who can help us with tile and help us with other things. He also did a lot for us in our old house. So I found a few different styles of like the face of the hood that I wanted it to look like. And then I just sent those over to him and then he made this frame to put over. And then same thing with the wooden piece down below. So this was all just all raw wood and then they ended up painting that top part and then staining this bottom chunk. But it kind of looks like it was built separately. And then I wanted him to trim out the top and bottom. Okay, let's talk about the backsplash now. So you can find this on, I think Wayfair. I think I got it on Tile Bar, but I wanna find the best lighting to show you guys this. It just looks like it's like super raw, hand painted. I love how it's not all perfect. Like it just looks very earthy. And I really just like how warm it is. So it has these nice gray tones to it, but then also these beautiful blues. I love how it kind of pulls together. And also it's not like a stark white, it's more of a stone slate. So it definitely was more of a bold choice, but Overall, I love how it feels. In our old kitchen, we just went with subway tile, which I loved as well. That was a smaller kitchen, so I really wanted it to be like big and bright and a lot of white. I didn't want as much white in here. I really, like my main thing was, I really wanted a pattern backsplash. Okay, as far as the hardware goes, I ordered, I think like five different options because it, I had a hard time finding what exactly I wanted um, and also they're so expensive like you know you're paying we have so many cabinets in here so you're getting a whole lot of hardware so I wanted all poles for everything instead of doing knobs and poles I just wanted to look kind of a little bit more sleek and modern and we ended up going with this one because it's a little bit smoother so it has like rounded corners so it won't catch on you the old ones used to like poke us <laughs> And they were more modern, they were silver before, and I, I just think these give like a little antique vibe to it. And also the type of gold is very 
subtle. It's not a shiny brass. It's more of a champagne, like a softer color. So I think that looks really pretty and nice. It's not like a glaring in your face gold. For our appliances, we wanted them all to look fairly similar. So we wanted, we love KitchenAid. So we got the KitchenAid fridge and this is an older model. So it costs us a lot less than the new KitchenAid fridge, but we really like it. I love how the sides have like the red. So we got a counter depth fridge. The one we had before, if you guys remember, it stuck out about a foot and it was huge. We had a ton of space in it, but I really wanted something that just fit into the space a little bit more. So yes, you lose a little bit of storage, but we actually, it works out great for us. So we really like the fridge. And then for the dishwasher, same thing. We wanted it to have that same look. So we got the KitchenAid dishwasher. For the microwave, we just got a cheaper GE one. Nothing fancy here. We just wanted it to really fit um, and not be super huge. So that is what we have here. And then again, they just built out like a little cubby for the microwave. And then we have a pull out drawer underneath that we keep appliances, which I really like having that right there. So that works out great. And then obviously this is not a KitchenAid stove, but I think it looks nice with the other um, appliances. Moving on to the lights. This was actually the last thing we did. Okay, I take back, we are not fully done. We never painted the ceiling, so you can see that is just texture up there, but that's fine, nobody notices. Actually, my dad was the only one who notices. He always notices things like that. So I love these, oh my gosh. I went back and forth between wanting all gold lights and wanting black like iron lights. I just wasn't 100% sure. I ultimately went with these because I love the feel of these. They're like a nice ceramic finish. The gold I thought was so pretty. It's a little bit more of that antique bronze than the the hardware, but honestly, you can, it looks it looks pretty much the same. And I do not like everything to be super matchy matchy. So if it's a little bit different, I don't care about that. Um, I, we put these really cool little bulbs in there too. And it has this little like speckled detail around them. Okay, let's talk about the island. So if you guys remember, it was much smaller when we first moved in here. It was to about here before. So we ended up adding like two feet to the island because we, we could, you know, we could stretch it out and then it just goes to the end of the wall. And it just makes more sense like this. This is how far the other one was. So it was just kind of odd that the island just stopped over there. So we extended that out and then I found a style of columns that I wanted to put there. And then we put these stools here again to add a little bit of warmth. These um, I'll have them linked for you, but they were not that expensive. And I just like the, the look it gives. We have so much more space now with the longer island. So it has really been awesome. Our countertops, like I said, they are quartz. I wanted it to be a thicker edge. So I always thought that you just buy a thicker countertop, but all counters are like this thick. What they do is they just cut a piece and then they literally like put it down here and they match the seam so it looks like it's one piece. So they did a really good job though. You just see how it's like, you can kind of tell the seam. Um, but I like the look of a chunky counter. I think it makes it look really nice. It looks just like hearty and I love, I love how that looks. Um, in our old house, we did more of a bevel detail here on the side. For this kitchen, I wanted it to be just like one chunk. This house is a little bit more modern, a little bit more contemporary, and I wanted to go with that style for the kitchen and not go against it. So I wanted to keep it a little bit more streamlined for this. And also we have that really scrolly balcony and staircase. So I wanted to bring in a little bit more clean lines into the kitchen. These were glass when we moved in. And so we just kept those and yeah, it's just painted obviously. Oh, and we painted the white over the black cabinets. So these are the same cabinets that they were when we moved in. They primed them like a lot because they were dark black. Um, and we have a few chips like up here. There is one. Um, there's another one somewhere else. If you guys have any tips 
Oh, I'm like really praying that it doesn't just fully all chip, but nothing's chipped on the outside, just on the inner part of the cabinets. For the inside of these cabinets, I wanted to break up the plates and the bowls and not have it all just plates and bowls by each other. So we did our tall plates up here, our like cereal bowls down here. I love these. These are all the um, dishes we got from our registry from when we got married nine years ago. They've lasted so well. And then on this side, we have plates. Actually, these ones are not. These ones are Lennox, but the rest are the Pottery Barn. And then I love these bowls from Crate and Barrel. They're awesome, but we've just recently broken like two, so I need to get some more. Those are Crate and Barrel, and these are also Crate and Barrel. I love these. I got these for the kitchen because I felt like it needed a little bit of a wooden element to break up all the white plates. Up top, I keep some pitchers, and then I love that cake stand. I found that, I think, at Home Goods, and then a little scale up there, and on this side, we keep all of our, like, fancier drinkware. So this is not stuff we use every day. I wanted the stuff we use every day to just be more like grab and go in there. And this is stuff that can be kept looking nice. So we have, you know, our wine glasses, glasses that we're gonna make drinks with, and then a couple cake stands up there. And then I just have some cookbooks and a little wooden salad bowl up there. And then on the countertops, we have our coffee maker. We ended up getting this new coffee maker after we did our kitchen row because our other one looked really bulky. It was really big and I love the look of this one and it's just an awesome coffee maker. We got the rose gold color and I, I love how warm it feels in here. And then we also got a new knife holder before ours was like an oak color. In our old house, we had a lot of light oak and in here we are going with a lot more deeper walnut brown tones and I really have been liking it. Um, this again is from our registry when we got married. This is awesome though, Crate and Barrel. Um, this is from a little antique shop that I found and I love how it holds all of our wooden utensils here. This is super random, but guys, I'm gonna link this too for you. This is from World Market and it's one of my favorite dish shells ever. Like it's so thick and nice. I looked forever for these, uh, what do you call them, breadboards, cutting boards, whatever you want to. So this one I found at a local antique shop. Love this. Not an antique shop, more of like a local boutique. This one I found at Home Goods. That was a score. And then the one in the back is from Pottery Barn, so I can link that one for you that comes in a couple different shades. This is from a local boutique too. Love that. And then I have my Aria diffuser on there. Let's talk about this sink for a sec. So this is Kohler. We had a Kohler sink at our old house. Loved it. So we, I think it's pretty much the exact same sink actually. And then the faucet is by Vigo, V-I-G-O. I didn't want the gold one. We They had a gold option, but it looked very shiny and I didn't think it would really match our hardware. And I don't know, for some reason, I just liked the chrome finish more. I thought it would kind of tie in the appliances and I, I really like how it looks. I'm glad we went with it. And we got this one because it has a little bit more of that industrial vibe, kind of like the stove. And I was really like drawn to it. So right when I saw it, I was like, that's the one. It's, it's really nice too. It pulls down and it's very functional. Also, I'd recommend getting this little tray for inside your sink. It just helps with scratches. Um, and then like the backsplash above the sink. So we have the tile go all the way around. I almost went up around the window, but I decided against it. We just went a little bit higher with it. Uh, but I have a windowsill built out of the leftover quartz. And I'm so glad because it really ties everything together. It just kind of finishes off the space. And then we actually had shutters on this before we took those off to get in more light. And then we had them trim out the window. So it just looks a little bit bigger. And then I get a lot of questions about this. Again, I'm sorry, this was from a little boutique near us, but the bowl is from Target, so I can link that too. And I love the little faux olive branches there. But that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll have the link down below in the description box for the link to my blog that I'll have photos and everything links to pretty much everything in the kitchen. So that is it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.